Welcome, Welcome to, to East High. High. Thank you all for being here today. Remember, Miss Darbus has a strict no cell phone policy, so make sure your phones are turned off and put up. So that means no flash photography. In case of emergencies, there are exit signs located to the left and right side of the stage and behind the house seating. Hope you enjoy the show. got transferred again. Welcome to East High. Moving can be such a drag. Did you at least get to do something fun over the break? Oh, you know, my mom took me on a ski trip. All I did was read. Excellent, another bookworm. With all those cute boys on the slope, why do you think Prada makes all that fabulous Apri ski wear? Loser! <laughs> well, actually, I did meet a boy. See, so make with the new splash, sister. I'm all ears. It was the best trip. The slopes were perfect, and I met the hottest little snow angel ever. You'll never guess how I met him. How'd you meet her? Snowboarding? Snowboarding. Singing. And he was pretty good, too. Man, she was so hot, she turned the slopes to slush. Can you yeah. say karaoke? Sing karaoke! I'm Troy. I can't sing. Gabriella, me either. They're all looking at us. I will if you will. Well. Living in my own world, didn't understand that anything could happen when you take a chance. Something has changed, never felt this way. And right here tonight, this could be the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Oh, and now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart the start of something new. Alrighty, 
put those lips together for the big New Year's kiss. Coming in 10. Oh no, I have to go. Ah. I promised my mom New Year's Six. Six. Uh, Here, put your number on my Seven. phone. I'll do it too. Six. I had such a great time with you. Me too. Four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! It was awesome. It was like a dream. I made a New Year's resolution to call her and ask her out on a date. You, you know, know what my New Year's, Year's resolution, resolution is? Tell us. Tell us. I'm going to work my jump shot. Got to work the equation. I'm going to win the game. I'm going to win a prize. Be the star just like always. Be the star, not the sidekick. Get your pay to open up her eyes. I know this. Something has changed, never felt this way. I know it for real, this could be the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Oh, and now I can reach the sky, I feel in my heart. The start of something new. I think it's going to be a great new year. I think it's going to be great for all of us. Wildcats, it is good to be back. The name's Jack Scott, the Velvet Fog of East Side, here to give you the lowdown on the various showdowns we're happening. On the various showdowns we're having this week, it's a crammed week. The league basketball championships are on Friday against the West High Knights, our arch nemesis. Plus the Science Decathlon finals against literally everyone else in the region. See Taylor McKessie. For more about that, she knows a lot more than I do. I'm just the announcer. Please don't shoot the messenger. But uh, Skydiving Club is meeting 3 p.m. on the roof deck. And the First Aid Club is waiting for them, probably for them, down in the parking lot below. That's all for now, peeps. <laughs> Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is sick and pale with grief, that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, once again, they forgot to announce the auditions for our winter musical, written by our very own Kelsey Nielsen. It is a delicious neo-feminist adaptation of Shakespeare's classic tragedy of star-crossed lovers. By thinking outside of the box, Kelsey has brilliantly swapped out a tragic ending with a happy one in which the two lovers both live and move to Albuquerque. <coughs> now, there will be single auditions for our supporting roles and chorus, as well as pair auditions for our two leads. 
Mr. Danforth, this is a place of learning, not a football Basket. court. Save your bilibial fricatives for someone of your own primitive aesthetic. Once again this year, the drama department faces a dearth of male participants. So please, come in and audition. I'm offering you the timeless allure of the grease paint. No? Okay. I'm offering you extra credit. Ah, the dreaded cell phone for symphony returns to our classroom. Sharp, hey, and Ryan Evans, your phones, please. And I'll see you in detention. We have a very strict no cell phone policy, so we'll get to know each other very well in detention. And welcome to East High, Miss Montez. Mr. Bolton, I see you're involved as well. Splendid. We'll see you in detention. But, but, Miss Darvis, Your Honor, sir, you can't possibly give him detention because we have basketball practice. That's 13 minutes for you too, Mr. Danforth. Count him. That could be tough for Chad since he probably can't count that high. Taylor McKessie, 35 minutes. But I've never had detention in my life. Well then, Happy New Year. <laughs> this ain't my first time at the rodeo, kitties. Shall the carnage continue? Ah, saved by the bell. You may collect your phones after detention and have a lovely day. So attention, custodial staff. There's been a nauseous freshman who spew, who shared his pancakes all over our third floor corridor. Might want to watch out if you're around that area. That could be a nasty fall. Oh, okay, we have a second announcement. Miss Darbus has just broken into my booth to tell me to sign up for the school musical. Those are gonna be tomorrow. Paper's out in the hallway. Actually, that's the same hallway. Why not do that now? But, uh, Play is Twinkle Town by Red Hot composer Babe Kelsey Nielsen. Till later, Jack Scott, The Velvet Fog of East High. I can't believe it. Me either, but how? We just moved here to Albuquerque. I can't believe you live here too. I looked for you at the lodge on New Year's Day, but. We had to leave first thing. Why are you whispering? Well, I told my buddies about the snowboarding, but not the singing thing. Too and much for them to handle? It was cool, but that was like an entirely different person. Pretty crazy, right? Meeting up again like this? I was gonna call you like a bunch of times. And? And, you know. You chickened out. Kinda. Cool. Oh, now that you've met Darvis the Deranged, I bet you can't wait to sign up for the show. Oh no, I won't be signing up for anything here for a while. I just want to get to know the school. But if you signed up, I'd consider coming to see the show. That is completely impossible. I wouldn't think impossible, even in your vocabulary, Troy. So nice of you to show our new student around. Troy is such a sweetheart, isn't he? He's the star of the basketball team. Just like I'm the star of the drama club. We're perfect for each other, don't you think? Are we having lunch together, Troy? Uh... Oh, look, the sign up for the musical. Oh, were you wanting to sign up too? I'm so sure we could find something for you. Oh. The ugly old nurse is lots of fun. No, I was just looking over the bulletin board. Lots going on at the school. Wow, nice penmanship. I miss you during vacation, Troy. So, what'd you do, hmm? Oh, you know, basketball and snowboarding and more basketball. Oh, would you look at the time, gotta go. Practice and all. You're so dedicated, just like me. I hope you'll come watch me in the musical. Promise? Maybe it's my hair. Maybe it is. <laughs> Hey, Wildcats, I believe we have another request, and this one comes out from our principal, Mr. Jeff Williams. To whoever let the, sorry, to whoever, to whoever let the air out of his tires, 
Coach Bolton has just gotten violent with my desk, so we're going to read that first. Troy Bolton, get your butt to basketball practice on the double or you're grounded for a week. Uh, we are out of announcement time, peeps, so uh, bye. And remember, guys, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, all right? When the going gets tough, the, the tough get going. Going. I guess you guys knew that one. All right, give me 10 minutes to weave drills, and let's see some hustle this time, all right? Sorry I'm late, coach. Get in there, Bolton. Hey, don't you think it's pretty cool Darvis is giving extra credit just for auditioning? Do you think LeBron James or Shaquille O'Neal ever auditioned for their high school musical? I mean, I don't know. It could be fun, you know? You know what would be better? A big, fat basketball scholarship. Ow! You're the team captain, Bolton. Get your head in the game. Man, your dad's tough. All right, team. Run the shuffle drill. The pin, keep your eye on the fence. Gotta run the give and go, keep your eye on the hole. Don't be afraid to shoot the outside, Jay. Uh, get your head in the game. Uh, just keep your head in the game. Don't be afraid to shoot the outside, Jay. Uh, just keep your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. We gotta get her, get her, get her, get her head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. We gotta get her, get her, get her, get her head in the game. Come on, get your, get your head in the game. We gotta get her, get her, get her, get her head in the game. I gotta get my, get, get my get head in the game. game. Let's make sure we get the rebound Cause when we get it then the crowd will go wild A second chance gotta grab it and go Maybe this time we'll hit the right now I've got to see her Wait a minute, not the time or place Wait a minute, get my head in the game Wait a minute, get my head in the game Wait a minute, wait a minute now Get your, get your head in the game. Get your, get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Come on, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. I gotta get my, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Why am I feeling so wrong? Better shake this. Yikes. Bum up, booyah, booyah, now we got the swerve on. Now break, make the pass, clean the glass. Take another stripe from the charity shine. Get the slam dunk in the inside, outside, dunk a tell it, dunk a tell it. Keep in your head, don't forget. And joy, boy, joy, be caught in the net. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. I gotta get my, get, get, get my, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get my, get my head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. have five minutes to complete this quantum number worksheet. If you need a pencil, you two, please let me know, and I will provide it for you. Oh, you need a pencil, okay. So, it seems like you knew Troy Bolton. 
Not really. I was just asking him for directions. Troy doesn't usually interact with new students. Why not? It's pretty much basketball 24-7 with him. Plus, he's such a bully, always picking on the smaller kids. That's nice. He hates math and chemistry. Don't get him started on chemistry. I don't think he's opened a book since Sally, Dick, and Jane. Says he didn't get it. Typical jock, right? Cool. And he's a meat eater with a flatulence problem. Ask anyone. Miss Tenney? Miss Tenney? Yes, yes, Miss Montez? Oh, I'm sorry, I just, I think it should be 10 to the negative 18th power, that's all. Uh, that is impossible, Miss Montez. Just, oh, Miss, Miss McKessie, can I borrow your calculator, please? Well, I stand corrected. Good job, Miss Montez. And welcome aboard. Did you know Troy spent a year in juvenile hall? Something to do with cats and lawnmowers. Be gone. You have no power here. Whatever. <laughs> I'm impressed. You're a genius. Please, it was just an equation. Look, our science decathlon team has a big regional match this Friday. We've never won it before, but with you on our side, we might stand a chance. Thanks, but I really just want to get used to the curriculum here before I think about joining any clubs. Well, promise you'll think about it. Promise. Troy Bolton was looking at our audition list. Again? He was hanging around with that Montez hag this morning, and they were both looking at the list. There's something freaky about her. Did you Google her, like I asked? Yeah, and it's like she has an extra brain or something. So why do you think she's interested in our musical? She's interested in Troy, Barfoy. I need you to plant those pronouns in Taylor's locker ASAP, okay? No problemo, boss, but why am I doing that? Look. There's no harm in making certain that Gabriella is welcomed into school activities that are appropriate for her. You know, the ones that keep her far away from Troy Bolton. <laughs> And so we've reached the end of our first day. Apparently, I've heard many people have gotten detention on day one. How they manage that, I have no idea. But uh, all you animals better make your way into the theater, or else Darbus is deranged. Well, I believe there's a story about that. I think it had something to do with cats, maybe a lawnmower. But uh, better get your butt into the theater now, or you'll learn why they called her that. That's all, Jack Scott. My brave little detention menagerie, we thespians often use animals to help us build the characters that we play. Be the bear, be the monkey, be the peacock. Chum, chum, chum now, explore. <gasps> Excuse me, no. <laughs> to be a peacock? Totally! Ryan. Yeah, it's okay. Peacocks are cool, I guess. For your sister, maybe, but what about for you? Me? Yes, unless you want to live the rest of your life in the shadow of your sister's peacock. <laughs> the answer is yes. What? I'm so glad you changed your mind about the decathlon. With credentials like these, we'll win that title for sure. Where did these come from? Didn't you put them in my locker? No, of course not. Well, we'd love to have you on the team. We meet almost every day after school. Please? I mean, <coughs> I don't
don't know. I really need to get used to all my classes here before I think about joining any clubs in the But what a perfect way to get caught up! Meeting with the smartest kids in the school. What a generous offer, Taylor! You should do it. Look, we've never won the decathlon before. You could be our answered prayer. Well, okay. I guess I'll do it. Yay! So, <clears throat> quick pro quo. What do you know about Troy Bolton? Troy? I wouldn't consider myself an expert on that particular Hello. subspecies, unless you speak to your leader, as in, is it Troy Bolton just a hottie super bomb? Oh my gosh, that's Troy! <laughs> I guess I don't speak to your leader. Which is why we exist in an alternative universe from Troy the basketball boy. Have you tried getting to know him? He has his click, Bro. I have mine. Watch how it works in the cafeteria when you have lunch with us. You'll see. Hey, don't you think the musical could be fun? Like, even a little? You're a hoops dude, not some musical singer person. Uh, I don't mean me, no way. Good, because you can't expect us to be focused on the game if you're off somewhere singing in leotards. <coughs> no one said anything about leotards. Not yet, my friend, but just you wait. All right, everyone, thank you very much. James, I had no idea an earthworm could have such a depth, such pain. Now, for our next activity to show you the magic that truly is the theater, we will be doing an activity called the Ball of Noise. The idea is to pass around an invisible ball while making some kind of noise to go along with it. Remember, once the ball is passed, it can land in any part of the body. You are limited only by your own imagination. I will go first. La! Ball. <laughs> Remember, Troy, you were limited only by your own imagination. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Ball. Oh no, everyone help him before the ball crushes him under his weight! Darvis, where's my team? What are they doing here? This is called a ball of noise, Coach Bolton. You run your detention your way, I run my detention my way. May we have a word? You two, practice now. Thank you, everyone. You've all done wonderful. It was an honor and a privilege watching you risk, risk, risk. Now, remember, auditions are tomorrow afternoon. Do not be late. You may collect your falls. Have a lovely rest of your day. Look, Darbus, Troy and Chad are my two star players. I can't have you stealing them away to go act like idiots. They were not acting like idiots, they were acting like actors. If Troy and Chad were theater performers instead of basketball players, would you seek preferential treatment for them? Look, preferential treatment or not, okay? We have the big game coming up later this week. I can't afford for them to just miss practice. Yes, and we are in auditions for our winter musicale. This school is about more than sweaty young men in baggy shorts flinging balls for buckets. Okay, uh, baskets, okay. But look, the West High Knights have beaten us out of the playoffs for three years. I can't afford for them to be missing time to practice. Yes, and despite your consistent track record of defeat, the school board still sees fit to allocate 10 times the amount of money to school athletics as it does the drama department. Look, I'm trying to teach, win, lose, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to teach these kids stuff that they can use outside of here, okay? Teamwork, hard work, responsibility, stuff that's actually important. Which is precisely what I am trying to instill in them. How, okay? By making them scream at the top of their lungs? Oh. Crackpot! <sighs> oh. Hello. 
Welcome back. I've got another train wreck of what we call day two of our new year. The auditions for Twinkle Town are happening at 3 p.m. today. And Darbus, if you didn't hear it from me, Darbus may be offering extra credit. She also didn't want me to say that, but. You know, between me and you, me and all of you, I guess. I'm the wrong person to be announcing that. Sorry, anyway, uh, that's at 3 p.m. So you verily forsooth the dudes had better reveth yonder vocal cords and get your butts into the theater for the winter musical. That's all for now. Jack Scott. <laughs> your stuff. A uh, Wookie. <laughs> oh, we had a rehearsal pianist make an arrangement. <laughs> it's hard to believe that I couldn't see. You were always right beside me. Thought I was alone. With no one to hold But you were always right beside me This feeling's like no 
I want you to know I've never had someone that knows me like you do The way you do I've never had someone as good for me as you No one like you So lonely before I finally found What I've been looking for What's with you and those stupid jazz squares? Everybody loves a good jazz square so good to be seen, so good to be heard. Don't have to say a word. For so long I was lost, so good to be found. I'm loving having, having you around. This feeling's like no other. I want you to know. I never had someone that knows me like you do, the way you do. Someone as good for me as you No one like you So lonely before I finally found What I've been looking for Do-do-do Do-do-do-do-do Oh, wow, oh, oh, oh If you're to do the song, I was hoping you'd... If we do the song? <laughs> Kelsey, <laughs> Kelsey, darling, I've been in 17 school productions, and let's see, how many shows have you written? This is the first. Which tells us that... I should write you more so. It tells us that you do not offer direction, suggestion, or commentary, and you should be thankful that Ryan and I are here to lift your music out of its current obscurity. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. I, I mean, Sharpay. Nice talking to you. Love, the glasses. Hey, hey. you decided to sign up? Uh, no, I just came to give you like uh, moral support. You are auditioning, right? No, your friends don't know that you're here, do they? Right. You're not afraid, are you? Hey, I'm used to all the attention, remember? You're the ones afraid, not me. I am not afraid. R2? I'm not. R2? I'm not. R2? I'm not. Oh yeah? Prove it. Go up there and show them what you can do. Don't be afraid. I'll be right here. Miss Starbus, I'd like to audition. I'm sorry, my dear. The single auditions are long over. Oh, but I was going to. Uh, d actually, Miss Starbus, I am. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to sing with her. Troy Bolton. <laughs> Where's your sports posse or whatever it's called? Team, but I'm here alone. Actually, I'm here to sing with her. Yes, well, I treat these shows just as importantly as your father treats his basketball practices. I called for the pair auditions, and you did not show up. I am sorry, but you are simply out of luck, Jack. Troy. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why this keeps happening. Oh, hey, you wrote that song that Ryan and Sharpay were just singing? Uh-huh. And the entire musical? Uh-huh. Wow, how long did it take you to write? About two years, actually. I woke up at 5 a.m. every day, and sometimes I even stayed after school. I'm still working on the finale. You're really dedicated. So why are you so afraid of Sharpay? It's your show. It, it is. You know, isn't the author of a musical like the Playmaker in Basketball? Playmaker? You know, the one who makes everyone else look good. Without you, there is no show. You're the Playmaker here, Kelsey. I am? Uh, would you like to hear the way the songs are supposed to sound like? Here. You 
go first. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see that you were always there beside me. Now you. But I was alone with no one to hold. But you were always there beside me. This feeling's like no other. I want you to know. Keep your eyes closed, Troy. Miss Dargus? Close them, I said. Now, tell me how you feel. Uh, I don't know, like I'm flying? Mm-hmm. Like I'm soaring through the air like a bird or something. There is not a star in heaven you can't reach, but you must try. Anything is possible in the theater. That's true for you too, Miss Montez. Troy, sweetheart, you can open your eyes now. We're not doing the miracle worker. Wow. Thanks, Miss Darvis. Bolton, Montez, you've got yourselves a callback. Kelsey, work with them on the finale. If you guys want to, I'm here every day before school and sometimes after, even during biology class sometimes. You can give me a call or I can give you one. I have an accordion. It's mobile. See you around. I'll, I'll call you. Gabriella. Joy. What's up? What's going on? Oh yeah, what, when, no way, no way, gotta, gotta go, gotta, gotta tell, tell like yesterday. yesterday. Martha, Taylor, Jack, Zeke, I got news, got news, go ahead and speak, gotta pass it around, Gabrielle and Troy, Say what, no way, that's not our boy, pass it around now, don't be slow, gotta go, gotta tell everybody I know. They didn't even ask our permission to join the drama club. I mean, come on. Someone's got to tell that new girl the rules. Right. And what are the rules again? Rule number one, pick the right click. Two, act like your click. Three, dress for your click. Four, know where your click clicks. And rule number five, stick to the status quo. Dude, you are so totally awesome. Um, thanks. Why? If you could come out in the open about singing, I can too. I love to bang. What? what? You can admit there's nothing but net when I am in the zone and I know. But I got a confession. 
to my own secret obsession and it's making me lose control. Everybody gather around. Don't strudel, even Apple Pan Downey. Not another sound. I dream of making the perfect crimp leg. No, 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 no. Stick to the stuff you know. If you want to be cool, follow one simple rule. Don't mess with the flow, oh no. Stick to the status quo. Gabriella, you've changed my entire life. I did? Look at me, and what do you see? Intelligence beyond compare. But aside, I am stirring something strange is occurring. It's a secret I need to share. Open up deep, way down deep. Hip hop is my passion. I love to pop, lock, break, and jam. Not another beat. What? It's just dancing. And the truth is, sometimes I think it's even cooler than homework. No, 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 no. no. explanation for this awesome sensation, but I'm ready to let it fly. Speak your mind and you'll be heard. If you're working me in a show, then I'm coming clean. Oh, I play the cello. Awesome. What is it? Dude, it's a cello. Not another word. I have to wear like a costume? Jacket and tie. That's how I call it. No, 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 no. Yeah. 
Okay, Jack Scott with the late breaking wildcat announcement, and this one might be the story of my entire career. So listen up. There, there's been a riot party, spontaneous musical number. There's been a spontaneous musical number in the cafeteria during lunch at school as Troy Bolton, yes, Troy, the basketball star, Bolton has gotten a callback <laughs> for the school musical. Things I never thought I would ever say on this booth, but here we are. So, uh, the clicks have caught fire and sunk into the ocean, and I, for one, cannot wait to see what happens next. Jack Scott with the story of my life, out. <laughs> Wild, huh? I can't believe how crazy it got downstairs just because we got called back. This is better, right? Much better. So, this is your private hideout? And thanks to the Horticulture Club, my buddies don't even know about it. Seems to me like everyone on campus wants to be your friend. Yeah, unless we lose. Must be tricky, being the coach's son. You know, he's going to freak when he hears about the singing thing. You're worried? My parents' friends are always saying, your son's the basketball guy, you must be so proud. Sometimes I don't want to be the basketball guy, you know? I just want to be me. I saw how you treated Kelsey at the auditions yesterday. Do your friends know that part of you? Are you kidding? To them, I'm just the playmaker dude. Then they don't know enough about you, Troy. Playmaker, that's such an odd phrase. Uh, what about the Pythagorean theorem? Now that's pretty whack. I think you mean Pythagorean theorem? <laughs> right, it's totally whack. At my other schools, I was the freaky math girl. That's all they thought I was. Always pointing at me and whispering behind my back. It made me feel like I was a freak, and I hated it. That's kind of why I wanted to keep a low profile here. You know, so I can just be me. But you can't let people stop you from doing what you want to do. I mean, you are what you do, right? It's easy for you to say. You're the big basketball star. You love the spotlight. I'm a lot happier curling up with a good book. Hiding? No. Maybe. Well, maybe. I don't know. Remember? In kindergarten, you'd meet a kid, know nothing about them, and then 10 seconds later, you were best friends just because you didn't have to be anyone else. Yeah. Singing with you felt like that, like safe, you know? Uh, I never thought about singing, that's, that's for sure, but when I look at you, I feel like anything's possible. So you really want to do the callbacks? Well, uh... Oh. I mean, that's okay. I guess I don't want to. No, no, no. I, I, I'm in. Really? Really? <laughs> hey, just call me Freaky Callback Boy. You're a cool guy, Troy, but not for the reason your friends think. Thanks for showing me your top secret hiding place. Just like kindergarten. Be your best friend? Um, since Troy's gonna be in your show... Troy I... Bolton is not in my show! Okay. Um, well, did you like the cake I made you? No. It doesn't go with my pants! <laughs> um, well, I was wondering, did you want to come see me play ball sometime? I'd rather suck the mucus from a dog's nostril till his skull caves in! Um, that doesn't sound too appetizing. How about a creme brulee? No. A uh, key lime pie? No. What about cupcakes? Everyone loves cupcakes. Cupcakes. Why did I say cupcakes? Ugh! That's going to work. Well, it's the only way to save Troy and Gabriella for themselves. So what you're saying is the individual must be sacrificed for the good of the whole. That's so very Karl Marx. Works for me. We'll get Troy in the locker room. You guys nab Gabrielle at exactly 1,600 hours. Whatever. Just work him until he Troy gets... Bolton is my best friend. I know how to push all of his buttons. And remember, the line of communication is crucial to the successful deployment of this covert operation. I didn't know you could say that many syllables together in one sentence. I'm impressed. Thanks. I've been working on it all night. My watch says 1,300 hours Mountain Standard Time. Are we synchronized? Other way. Save
keep it for Charlie's Angels, Chad. Au revoir, mon ami. I love it when you speak German. Dankeschön. Attention. Fall out. Something isn't right. The jocks and the brainiacs mingling in study hall? The jocks rule most of the school, but if they get Troy in the musical, they'll have conquered the entire student body. And if the brainiacs get Gabriella hooked up with Troy Bolton, the science club goes from drool to cool. And Troy will be hers forever. Ryan, Ryan, oh. we need to save our show from people who don't know the difference between a Tony Award and Tony Soprano. But how? Darbus, I have a plan. Lucy. I'll tell Darbus that Troy and his dad want to sabotage the auditions because she gave him detention. She'll never believe that. She'll believe anything I tell her because I'm the president of the drama club. Yeah, but the president's not supposed to lie, Sharpay. Yeah, and the vice president's supposed to smile, zip it, and do what I tell him to do, all right? Now come on. Now come on. Come on, guys, show some hustle already. You can't shoot, you can barely do your drills. We have the big game coming up. Where are your heads at? Where's Bolton? Guys, where's Bolton? That, that, that kind of was an open question. Um, come here, come here, come here. I said, where's Bolton? How dare you! What? Never in all my years in the theater have I experienced such small-minded, childish subterfuge. Guys, go to the locker room, okay? Practice is over. You too, wherever you guys go. All right, Bolton. Cards on the table. Right now. We've talked about this, Bolton. I don't play cards. Don't you play dumb with me. Look, I'm not playing at anything. Some very reliable sources told me about your little plot to humiliate me and the drama club. And I am telling you, it ain't going to fly. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? If you and your all-star son are plotting some type of practical joke in my chapel of the arts. <clears throat> hit, hit that one one more time. Troy, he doesn't even sing. Well, then I guess you don't know your own son as well as you think you do. But I will not allow Twinkletown to be made into a farce. Twinkletown? See? I knew it. Very well, then. You leave me no choice. If Troy is actually genuine about auditioning, he's going to have to prove it. But I will not allow either one of you to make the drama club look like fools. Well, you don't need my help to do that. You. And you. Mr. I'm soaring, I'm flying. I thought you were genuine, Troy. Wrong again, I guess. What was that all about? You know, I, I've, got, I've got no clue, okay? She came in here and she started yelling up a storm and she says something about singing. Care to, care to explain that one for me? Oh, I, well, um, I, well, you know. You know what, no, 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 I don't know. You see, because Darvis the Deranged just came in here and bit my head off because she thinks you're planning something. Well, I, well, I, you see, I was just helping someone audition. It, it was nothing. Oh, okay, it, it was nothing, then I'm sorry, okay? But look, since it's just nothing, let me just remind you of this. In case you've forgotten, you have the biggest game of your life coming up. 
okay? You need to spend, you need to focus. You need to spend your time here in the gym, okay? Championship games are something special, okay? They don't just come around every day. I was gonna stay after work on my free throws. After missing practice, again, that's the least you can do. Get to work. Wow, so this is your real stage, huh? Oh, I guess you could call it that, or just a sweaty gym. Whoa, don't tell me you can hoop too. Yeah, I once scored 41 points in a league championship game. Really? Yeah, the same day I invented the PlayStation and the iPod. I've been practicing with Kelsey. Yeah, me too. And I was like to practice because of it. So if I could kick about the team, it'll be on your conscience. Hey, I... Uh, Gabriella, chill. <laughs> I'm sorry, miss. This is a closed practice. But practice is over. Not until the last player leaves the gym. Oh, Team rules. I'm sorry, sir. Dad, this is Gabriela Montez. Oh, oh, is this your little detention buddy? It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> Gabriela, Taylor needs you up in the lab right away. Hip hop hooray! <laughs> See you around, Troy. Nice to meet you, Coach Bolton. Goodbye. Detention was my fault, not hers. Look, you haven't missed practice in three years. She comes along and you're late twice. She is named Gabriella and she's very nice. Okay, well, helping you miss practice, it doesn't make her very nice in my book. She's not a problem, she's just a girl. Okay, she may be just a girl, but you're not just a guy, Bolton. You're the team captain. Without you completely focused on the game, we're not gonna win on Friday. Uh, well, uh, I could focus on multiple things at the same time, Dad, you know? It's multitasking, it's a, it's a thing. I need you focused on this, Troy. Not on some girl, not on some singing, okay? The championship game, like I said, it's something special. A lot of things can be special, Dad. Look, if you mess this up, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. What, Dad? You mean like you? Listen here, Bolton. You're a playmaker, not a singer. Did you ever think maybe I could be both? And my name is Troy, Dad, not Bolton. Get to work. Not good enough, Captain. Not good enough, Gabriella. Get, Get your, your head in the game. game. There's a choice that you have to make. And it's pretty plain to see. You're either out or in. Either lose or win. Are you going to turn your back on history? On the legend that you're a part of. On the job that you were born. Spider, Bill Natrine. Harriet Tubman. Sam Flippage, Gemma Net Center. Madam Curie. Thunderclap Hap Hatton. Eleanor Roosevelt. Do you think these Wildcat legends ever won championships by worrying about some brainiac chick or auditioning for a stupid musical? Do you think these paradigms of education and accomplishment concern themselves with docs or auditioning for musicals? I don't think so. Check out the champions who came before. Hail the hero that you could be And put away that dream Cause there's no I in team And the sacrifice is worth it We all agree You just have to keep your focus And forget about you know who Don't let us down You gotta come through Cause we're counting on, counting on, counting on my dad. Heartbreak Bolton. Missed the last basket of the 1981 championship. Do it for him, Troy. Give him the championship he's always dreamed of. 
Heartbreak That's Bolton. Boy. Another lost cause, bonehead, basketballist Moranis Jock. But you, you're the future of civilization. You're next in the line. You're part of the chain. Is this what you want to hear? Gabriella means nothing to me. The musical means nothing to me. Forget singing, forget her, and we'll go get this championship. Everyone happy? Troy? Troy Bolton? I think it's for you. <clears throat> Gabriella? What's, what's going on? Who are we kidding? I don't want to do the callbacks either. You've got your team, and now I've got my team. You go win the championship, and I'll go do the decathlon. It's where we belong. But I, I don't Me want neither. to. Me neither. Goodbye. So, uh, Gabriella, want to grab a Coke? No, huh? Well, guess I'll see you around. Want to get some lunch, Troy? No, man. I made a pretty spectacular cheesecake. Maybe now's not the time. It's funny when you find yourself looking from the outside. I'm standing here, but all I want is to be over there. Why did I let myself believe miracles could happen? So now I have to pretend I don't really care.
Everybody loves a good jazz square. It's a classic. And why do we always have to do what you want to do? I don't know. Maybe because I know what I'm doing. Just do what I tell you to do. Understand? I'm not taking any chances. That role is mine. I was born to play it. Someone in this room ought to chill out, sister. And it ain't me. We'll get the roles we want. We always do. I'm not just talking about my role in the play, Ryan. I'm talking about my role in, like, the school. I'm not a jock. I'm not a brainiac. But you know what I am? I'm the star. That's my role. And if they take that away from me, who am I? Well, you could just be Sharpay. That's not so bad, is it? Are you brain dead? No one's gonna like me if I'm just Sharpay. But on stage, I can be Juliet. I can be Annie Oakley. I can be anyone I want to be. Not just dumb old Sharpay. I need something to make me fabulous, Ryan. I mean, come on. They named me after a flabby dog. Sharpay, we've had the lead role since birth. If we get it, great. If we don't, we're still fabulous. And besides, they could have named you far worse, like Pug or Shit But Troy or and that, that thing! Maybe Troy would like you more if you were just yourself for once. Pardon me, Dr. Phil, but what do you know? You're just a kid. I'm only eight minutes younger than you. Yeah, well, those are eight important minutes. I don't you need can to hear out of you. No, uh, sorry, I didn't know you were in here. Hi, Troy. Did you come to ask if I'd switch partners and audition with you? The answer is yes, Ryan. You're fired. Sharpay! Uh, no. I'm actually looking for Gabriella. Have you guys seen her? Who? Forget it. Uh, uh, I think she was in the theater about ten minutes ago. Thanks, Ryan. You're all right. How can you stab me in the back like that, helping the enemy? I stabbed you in the back? Well, at least you admit it. Now let's start it from the top and lose the jazz squares. Let's try that again, okay? What measure? With lion, sovereign. Um, no, actually, turn it around. Oh, okay. With sovereign, lion. That's it. <clears throat> Troy. Gabriella, you have to listen to me. The things you heard yesterday, none of them were true. I didn't mean any of it. Troy, this whole singing thing, it's making the school crazy. You said it yourself. Everyone is treating you differently because of it. Maybe that's because I don't want to be the basketball guy anymore. Gabriella, when I look into your eyes, I feel like I could do anything because you look at me without putting all these limits on me, you know? But your dad. This isn't about my dad. This is about me, about how I feel. And I didn't let the team down. They let me down. I'm gonna sing. What about you? I don't know, Troy. It feels so right to be here with you all. And now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart. The start of something new. Little 
living in my own didn't understand that anything could happen when you take a chance I never believed in what I couldn't see I never opened my heart oh. to all the possibilities Oh, I know that something has changed that I felt this way Callbacks are next week. We don't have much time. We have to get things going. Uh, first, we have to talk to our friends. Yeah, we have to tell them we're doing the callbacks after all. Well, let's get going. We're burning daylight. Come on. I feel like so demeritorious about what we did. Me too. At least I think. What are we gonna do now? I don't know. What we if have we? To... I'm just so sorry. Guys, we have something we want to tell you. No, no us, us first. first. No, this is important. Troy and I have decided. What Gabriella means is. Calling all wildcats. The following events are tomorrow at 3 p.m. The science decathlon, which is once again against literally everyone else. Sorry, we have a guest at the booth today for the first time uh, since I inherited this mic from the previous Jack Scott. Um, and uh, here she is. It's Darbus the de Delightful. Hello, everyone. I would just like to announce that the callbacks have been moved to tomorrow at 3 p.m. Miss Darvis. Yes. You can't do that. That's the same time as the other events I'm about to announce. And the, it's the same time as you, my callbacks. Woo! You can't do that. It takes two, two days is the minimum required. Completely disregarding my two-day announcement uh, forewarning rule, The auditions for Twinkle Town have been moved to the same time as our Science Decathlon and League Basketball Championship game. Sorry, Troy. What? How can they do this? It's not fair. How can you be in the Science Decathlon? And then win the championship? And the musical? We, we can't. can't. Well, it's clear now you have no choice. There's only one thing you can do. Yeah, I know. Maybe next year, right? Audition for the musical. What? But what about the team? I thought you wanted to win the decathlon. So we come in second. That's no disgrace. Win or lose, we're teammates. That's what it's all about. Even if you turn out to be the worst singer ever. Since we haven't actually heard you sing. He's really good. They both are. What we did was so wrong. We want the both of you to know we're going to be there cheering you on. In spirit, anyway. Yeah, and if singing's your dream, we should be lifting you up, not tearing you down. Ba, 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 do the job. What? Good luck at the game, Troy. Sorry about the callbacks, Gabriella. Not. <laughs> ba, 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 do the job. So anyways, what guys, we've made our decision. Ambition. I'll be there for the team, Taylor. Yeah, me too, guys. It's just a musical anyway. But, but you can't. can't. But we can. Sorry, guys. Come on, Gabriella. We can't let them do this. Yeah, a dream deferred and all that. We have to find a way for them to do both. Team Huddle. Hey, you spoke jock. I'm good with foreign languages, remember? Down to the split second. We 
can ask Jack Scott to help us announce in the game. It's impossible. Leave it to me. I can do anything with my laptop. Go Wildcats! Yesterday, we all were on our own road. We didn't really know. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That each of us brings something to the table to help the others grow. Connection to win a big prize. We're all in this together. Once we know that we are, we're all stars, and we see that we're all in this together. And it shows when we stand hand in hand, make our dreams come true. We're all here and speaking out with one voice. Look at the callbacks, Miss Darbus. Old curb manuk see <laughs> Chad spelling. Wait. They do realize we have callbacks to get to, correct? We don't have time for their little spelling. Circle O D R A M A C L U B R. <laughs> Troy, that's an exclamation point. Exclamation point. Fasten your seatbelt, kitties. We're in for a bumpy ride. Cats, the following event starting immediately. Science the cast lock in the second floor computer lab. The theater for the auditions. The gymnasium is holding the league basketball championship game against our nemesis, the West High Knights. That game is about to begin right now as the Red Hot East High Wildcats take the court, led by their captain, Troy Bolton. Yeah. 
Sunshine. Show some muscle. Do the hustle. Correct. <laughs> you have 30 seconds remaining on this final question. Bop, 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 bop to the top. Wipe away your inhibitions. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Off to the rump and start the stand. Let me grab the rebound. Bop, 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 straight to the top. Going for the glory. Look, you're stepping up and you just won't stop. And the winner is Gabriella Montez. And you just won't stop. He shoots. He does not score. He's going. Ladies and gentlemen, we do seem to be having a problem with our lights. So if everyone could please make an orderly exit from the gym and head into the theater. This will all be f fixed in a few minutes when we either fix the problem or pay the electric bill. Uh, please hurry. There will be a show. Run, Troy. You only have like five minutes. Dude, what's happening? You wanted to sing. Here's your chance. It was Taylor's idea. You guys are the best. I know. Now hurry. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay calm right now until we get the lights back on. Please report to the theater. Please report to the theater. When the lights do come back on, we will come back and finish the match. Thank you very much. Gabriella, what are you still doing here? What do you mean? My laptop can only hack the school's electrical grid for about five minutes. Hurry, Troy's waiting for you on stage. You did this? Buy me a Coke after you get the lead. Now run. <laughs> Ryan, Sharpay, well done. Now, for our next two, we have Gabriella Montez and Troy Bolton. Gabriella, Troy, yahoo! Well, it would seem as if you were right, Sharpay. See, unfortunately, I do. Uh, you gotta give them a chance. I'm sure they're coming. They've been rehearsing all week. They've been doing what you say, reaching for the stars. Th that's what they're doing. I've seen it. Give them a couple minutes. I, I can go get them. Please. I'm sorry, Kelsey, but just like in the theater, our lives are defined by the choices that we make. And they have obviously chosen not to audition. Thank you all for coming out. The cast list will be posted sometime next week. Miss Darbus, we're here. I called your names twice. Where were you? Well, we had things to do. Please, Miss Darbus, we only have a few more minutes until the lights come back on. Rules are rules, Miss Montez. Come on, give us a chance, please. A chance for what, Troy? To make a joke out of something that means the world to me and your fellow classmates? But it's not a joke. We want to give it our best shot. What's this? A full house? As president of the drama club, I have to put my foot down. No preferential treatment. Those are your words, not mine. But Miss Darvis, Troy wasn't trying to mess up your audition. Sharpay lied to you because she was scared of losing the part. Shut up. Is he telling the truth? Did you knowingly lie to me and abuse the presidential privilege? I didn't lie, I improvised a little. It really wasn't a lot. We'll talk about this later, Miss Mo Miss Evans, but right now, off the stage. But, but I- Off the stage! <sighs> Get your hands off of me. <sighs> Gabriella, Troy, you may start your call back. Um, we don't have a pianist. We'll sing without music? Oh, no, you won't. Pianist here, Miss Darbus. You really don't want to do that. Oh, yes, I really do. <laughs> now that showbiz. Ready on stage. I can't, I, I can't do it, Troy. It was so much easier when it was just you and me. Then pretend it is just you and me, just like kindergarten, remember? Mm -hmm. 
That's a figure of speech. Oh, thanks, Sharpay. Don't mention it to anyone ever. Oh, okay. Um, hey, Sharpay. Really sorry you didn't get the role. Join the club. But I still think you're really fantastic. You do? I mean, like, really? Like, really, really. So, where's that creme brulee you promised me? Just like kindergarten, right? Only better. Woo! Together, together, 